In all of recorded history, Ashenvale has been a vast, primordial wilderness made up of towering trees, verdant undergrowth, and serene waterways. For over ten millennia, the zone served as the Night Elven homeland, though these days, much of their kind has been forced to flee. Recent catastrophes have shrunk these tranquil wildlands, the thick canopy stripped away with each passing moment. The northern section of woods has been tainted by the Burning Legion and has been dubbed Fellwood. This place is a twisted reflection of Ashenvale, showing what may come to the forest should the demon's foul presence continue to seep deeper. Meanwhile, Ashenvale's eastern coastline has been infiltrated by the Twilight's Hammer Cult, who seek to unearth an eldritch abomination of the old gods, which has laid dormant beneath the sea. And lastly, the southeast portion of Ashenvale is slowly and methodically being deforested by the Horde, who rely on the constant stream of lumber to continue to build their settlements across the barren, treeless savannas, grasslands, and deserts where their kind have settled. Only the Night Elves seek to restore Ashenvale's majestic forests. This region represents all which they have fought to conserve from the invaders, a primeval bulwark protected only by the ancient strength of their kind, and a manifestation of their culture's connection to nature. But over the long course of time, Ashenvale has seen members of the Night Elf bloodline corrupted by demons, turning a select few into malicious entities known as satyrs. These twisted beings inhabit the northern reaches of the forest, perpetuating its destruction by wielding fiery spells which scorch the forest floor with demonic runes. Their bestial appearance symbolizes their wanton disregard for civility. Behind crude wooden palisades, the satyr camps are devoid of any structures save for burning altars and wicked idols. They sleep outdoors exposed entirely to the elements. As night elves, they once built stone settlements, which remained unintrusive and in balance with the natural world. But as satyrs, these creatures claw down the trees, contorting the sacred boughs into effigies for their cruel masters. Likewise, another offshoot of the night elven descent, the serpentine Naga, have made an appearance along the western shores. This murky coast is known as the Zorum Strand, a stretch of shoreline characterized by rugged cliffs, dark waters, and rocky beaches littered with the ruins of forgotten night elf cities. The area is often shrouded in a perpetual eerie mist, adding to its somber and foreboding atmosphere, where the sound of crashing waves and the cries of seabirds are a constant backdrop. The Naga remain elusive here. They are aware that deep below the surface, a creation of the old god stirs. Should this monstrosity be released into Ashen Vale, it could severely unhinge the natural order of the land. But the greatest threat to the harmony of Ashen Vale is the Horde. The Warsong clan's lumber operation is devastating. Their logging camps rip the trees from the forest floor, where they are hewn into shape by smoke-belching machines. By all practical means, the Horde is unable to cease their relentless tear. Without the constant supply of timber, their settlements to the south would fall into disrepair, leaving them unprotected from their southern adversaries. The Horde's incursions have put the sanctity of the forest in peril threatening severe desertification and total environmental collapse as they tear into the heart of the woods. These actions are viewed as a direct violation against the Night Elves' ancestral lands, stoking fires of already deep-seated animosity between the two greatest factions on Azeroth, the Alliance and the Horde. The destruction of the forest for its resources means peace remains unattainable, 
as the Night Elves and their allies cannot tolerate the desecration of such consecrated ground, ensuring ongoing conflict. For as long as the Horde cannot coexist with Ashenvale, neither can the Night Elves coexist with the Horde. Ashenvale, once a sprawling bastion of a world untouched, now stands as a poignant testament to the ongoing struggle between preservation and exploitation. Its ancient groves symbolize a deep connection to nature, fiercely defended by the Night Elves. Yet, the relentless advance of the Burning Legion, the invasive presence of the satyrs and the Naga, and the destructive logging industry of the Warsong clan all threaten to dismantle this mystic place. Each encroachment reflects a larger battle, not just for territory, but for the very essence of Ashenvale. The persistent exploitation by the Horde, along with the looming shadow of darker influences, guarantees that Ashenvale's lush beauty remains under siege. The Night Elves' efforts to restore and protect their homeland underscores their enduring commitment to safeguarding the natural world, making Ashenvale a paradoxical symbol of both the fragility of their realm and the resilience of their heritage. For as old as the forest is, its deepest roots must remain firm even as its branches wither away, rot into sickness, and break against the storm. <laughs>